Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we actually went ahead and beat Hop, did a few fancy animations, and we also got ourselves an evolution in Lepur. Also, I keep hearing comments about Multiman's Applin not really being able to evolve until we get to the third gym. So in this episode, after we use the Rotom Bike to go ahead and, uh, heal our team, because I've used potions, but I'm too lazy to, and all the other designs. Anyways, we're gonna use the Rotom Bike, save some money and all that stuff, you know? And yeah, out of that, we'll be finishing up Route 5, and possibly even taking on the Gym Leader. It really depends on how fast I am when it comes to knocking out opponents and all that. And we also ended up catching... Well, we got a Static Encounter, where it came in from, uh... Uh, Toxapex? No, not Toxapex, uh, Toxo. And we also got ourselves an encounter from the Galarian Slowpoke. However, I don't really want to use the Slowpoke because of the fact that it can't evolve, so maybe it's good around now, but later on in the game it's going to be a nightmare. And, uh, I'm just liking the team how it is right now. Uh, by the way, question of the day, guys. Who do you want on the team? Essentially, are you guys happy like I am with what we have for team members? Or do you actually want me to switch it up a bit? See kind of what we do, maybe train everyone else at the same time? You guys get to decide. But without further ado, let's just battle. You know, if you took time and read that dialogue, it almost sounds like it's a little jingle that you could do about raising the good stats of Pokemon and ignoring the bad ones. Which does make sense. It does make sense indeed. Okay, air cutter. Funny story about this Ruby, by the way. I literally on this well not on the day, but like Two to two and a half days after um, they released this game, and I was trying to complete the Pokedex for completing the story, I ended up spending about three to four and a half days hunting down that Ruby without knowing the fact that the only way to get to Ruby is to actually have the Ruby attack you while you're shaking the tree. I had no idea that that was what you were supposed to do. And the only way I found out was I actually had 50, or as people know in Kasuto's uh, chat, Liam, point out to me that uh, you can only get him from one of those da big tree encounters. I, I thought about it too, but I was kind of too irritated to do it. So then the first time I ever got attacked from a tree encounter, it was from a Cherubi. So, kinda salty about that. I mean, if it wasn't for that whole Cherubi incident, I probably would have been able to get a lot of Pokemon. Like, maybe around 300 Pokemon species. Um, without having to rely on anything else, I guess good say. I know, it made me really salty anyways. Wait, I have to, if I have to keep that to myself about having a Pokemon to help you out with work... Does the Pokemon universe not allow people to have their Pokemon work with them? Huh. I'm gonna try and be cheeky. Holy dang. This is actually the first, first time 
I actually paid attention to how uh, the track sound animation goes. And oh boy, it sounds like an animation in which somebody's getting ready to go down, you know? Like a grooving up to a person, be like, hey, how you doing? It's just mind blowing. I gotta always remember to use Phantom as a special attacker. Wait, so who was the Pokemon doing the work for you? Was it the Krogon? Or was it the Wubat? Huh. Well, let's keep going anyway. We made it to the new city! Yeah! Okay, let's go in. Oh wait, I better get my voice acting ready. Is it going to turn the attack? The violinist really gone ham with the music. Can I go in here? Can I go in here? Yes! Okay, so we're definitely taking on the gym in this episode. In fact, I'm probably going to buy some super potions just to be safe safe, you know? Because we don't really have anything to handle water very well. And water rock is going to be our nightmare. Which is ironic because on my other team, on my main game, my team is so weak to ground type. Like if you have one strong ground type like Tyranitar, oh boy. I can get swept in a heartbeat. That's how bad that is. Like, bad. Oh, sincere apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. Okay, see you later, chairman. <laughs> no need to rush. I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card! Uh, we need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. Chasing them off like that. Aren't you a bit too hard, Ol Olina? Fans are very important, of course. And that's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you were... Convinced, sir. That's right, Pete. I dare say, I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon. All those years ago. Will you be the one to win the gym challenge? Or perhaps... It will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion. I will prove your faith in me was well placed, Chairman. I won't lose to anyone anymore. Anyways, I'll be on my way now. Ah, your name was Magikarp, right? We were just talking about you. I admit, I'm curious about Leon's reason for endorsing you. Ah, I just had a great idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face gym leader Nessa soon, right? Yes? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration! I'd like to get to know you a little better after all. Chairman, you should really be going. Please do your best for the sake of Galar's future!
the chairman will be heading to this town's seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Do not keep him waiting. Okay, Nesta. Well, no. Arlena God. Sorry, butchered it. I go in these houses because a few of these houses have funny timbits and all that. But I don't really want to. And I mean, I'll just find whatever items I run into. Yeah, they have a tr- wait, a mail phone? Aw, oh, that'd be cool if there was a, like, a sorry event there. Okay, well, time to bike away. Ow. Oh, heck yeah, my super potion! Now, I think there's, like, a hidden TM over here. Uh, well, I guess it's on the other side. Ooh, can't teach Electro Rev to anybody. To the bag! Well, that was actually really delayed to the bag, but... It's fine. Aw, oh, nobody can load Magical Leaf either? Aw, oh, man. Nesta is going to be a nightmare! But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get ready. Oh geez, what voice am I going to give her? <laughs> it must be a gym calendar, right? How did you know? You're one of the ones in Darth by Leon, right? You've become something of a hot topic amongst the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Famous. I already heard about you, so... You should learn all about me, too. Sweet. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing. I love Pokemon battles even more. And I'm itching for a battle with you. There's gonna be, like, so many female voices you gotta remember. That soon they're gonna all assimilate into like one individual unit and it's gonna sound so robotic. The ball guy! Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy! I see you have a fishing rod. In that case, I've got the perfect Pokeball for you. If you manage to catch a Pokemon using the fishing rod, then it's time to use the lure ball. It's the absolute best Pokeball for people who like Pokemon that live in the water. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Don't know why I gave a musical tone, but I did. My brain and soul slightly hurt at the same time. But really though, how am I gonna handle this dang gem? Like, I can go to Birdle, but he's gonna have that rock guy on the field. Hmm. Again, rock guy on the field. Maybe I'll level up Fluff? It could come in handy. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and tackle the gym leader. Uh, slight apologies, by the way, when it comes to the series itself. I actually kind of got stuck in a rut and all that stuff, and pretty much got all gloomy, so that's kind of why I didn't really upload any videos. I want to upload when I'm excited and full of energy, not when I'm kind of limp and half-assing. 
And yes, I'm using a dot word. Um, the thing itself. The helper Pokemon Jim Missing is this. A challenging maze. And you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing a red button over there. And I imagine you'd figure it out, future champ. Now, let the gym mission be it. That sounded like a Pokemon for the whistle. Oh, it's really hard. Do not outspeed. Oh man, that nerf tower thing so much. Oh, now I'm officially getting salty. Wait. We could possibly do two more headbutts. You have to do it again. Dang it, it would have been like two more hit well, one more hit from headbutt, but I got growled. Thank goodness for a fancy attack. Ooh, that was a crit. Okay, so one more double kick and we got it. I would I would just go for headbutt. And like guarantee the knockout, but I want to save battle points because I'm thinking of using fluff at the beginning of uh, the fight against the gym leader. Worst case scenario, we have like a lot of fight royale. Ooh, 2016? Huh? What the fuck? I, always, I thought this puzzle was pretty easy. Okay. Oh, do we have any berries? Ooh, maybe I should have bought some, like, berries. Before I came in here. Well, too late now. Hmm. No, I don't really have anything else either. I mean, I got the rare candy, but I don't really want to use that. Yet. Okay, well, I'm not just gathering my own bag. Let's just go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And then jump into the next fight. Fuck it. I challenge you. Copycat that. Don't you dare go for bubble? 
Because I would have wasted all this time. I think special my looks at that hit. Dang. Well, double kick. Okay, so it seems like I don't really got anything on my mind. AKA fighting a Krabby at some defense yet. I thought I at least Yeah. At least talk a little bit about what I'm thinking about the channel a bit. The keyword is thinking? Because I don't really know if I'm going to do it and all that. It's essentially just something that's hovering around the mind for a bit. But what I've been thinking, or at least contemplating, is uh, actually doing some videos of recording with Kasuto? But uh, on the lines of having a way to... I don't know, just having different content, somebody playing different content games with me kind of thing, you know? Now, the reason why I'm thinking about it and not being like, oh heck yeah, right away, is because of the fact that I need to do stuff on my part in order to get that to work. Like, what I've just finished recently doing is, uh, kind of figuring out how to get my microphone to work on this car. And at the same time, I've also figured out that I also figured out No, not figured out. I also ended up getting uh Steam on my laptop. So since I'm basically subscribed to Steam now and all that stuff. Uh, I can start getting more games from my laptop, which means, in turn, I'll be able to provide more content for you guys. It won't really be Nintendo based, but there'll be some fun games I can get a try there. Like, I've actually been thinking about trying 100% Orange Juice. Just because one time in the past, I actually been a different YouTube group. I don't know if they were a group or just one person. One or the other. But I've seen a different group anyway to give that game a try. And it had a really interesting gimmick to it. Probably it's not going to be something I overly focus on. But it'd just be something to have fun playing with other people and seeing how they react to how the game's going. And with other by that though, um, it really depends on what other people feel like doing and all that stuff. But pretty much since I'm friends with the YouTuber... Yeah, YouTuber 50. He has one video on his channel, by the way, so if you guys want to check that out, feel free. So, again, same with Kasutu for 50. I recommend uh, going in there with a conscious mind, knowing that you gotta at least be about 13 or older, and know about the birth and beast. Because if you go take a few to of 50 channels and watch some of the older content, but some of the new content, because, you know, we're all adults here, essentially, uh, they'll use some choice words. Not on purpose or forcefully, but just because, you know, they're having fun. I'm also having fun, but I try and keep most of my content PG. Most of it is the keyword. Uh, I think it's a key. Oh, no, that's it. And then we need it. What if 
thing next to me. Why do I think the yellow one was gonna activate again after that? I have no idea. Well, yeah, that does remind me, I should probably heal up my team a bit. Or a lot. Multiman, your Pokemon's probably just going to be in the uh, backpack, not really doing any major battling debuts. Because, well, even though you have very solid defenses, you only have two moves. And Astonis is fun, but not, you know, overly, haha, I got this done, kind of fun. It's just kind of, oh, you know? You know, I don't know that, that's like the only major update to the channel is essentially the whole going to do future collabs with Kasuto kind of thing. And I believe 50 as well, because if I were to do something with Kasuto, I believe 50 would jump in as well, so you would get like three different people interacting with each other and it won't just be me talking to the audience kind of it'll be me and other people so i probably won't really be streaming like me personally i probably won't really be streaming it but if you decide to check it out on kazuto's channel that channel would probably have where the stream is at and then I will kind of archive or edit the videos a little bit on my channel. The reason why I don't really want to do live streams is because not only will I have to learn how to do the live stream, and come on, Lepur, you need to do a lot more damage than that. But at the same time, too, I got to think of how to... The pearl, what are you doing? I got to think of what game I want to live stream and it just seems like a, a lot of work at the moment. Granted, editing videos is a lot of work too, but uh, at least with this, I'll see how the content's going to go out and then I could be like, yeah, let's get this done, you know? Man, that attack is crazy strong. Now imagine giving the uh, Lepur a physical golf type move right now. Ooh. Multiple Kano's giving me 2016. What is this? Right now it's 2020. Ah, okay. I remember this now. We go with the yellow, we need to activate that. Then we go with the red, after tackling the lady for a bit. And then we go to the blue. And because we already activated the yellow, we can go ahead and tell him to get me. Alright, so yeah, this video is going to be a little longer, but at least I'll be having this video come up, and I'll also be able to have the badge animation for the water thing. Now, I'm kind of doing this around the... Well, around the night time of Thursday? So... It's not really night night time, so I'll have time to edit the video and all that. But I probably won't have the video go up live until... I'm aiming for the morning of Friday? But it could always be, uh, 
the night time of Friday. Really depend on how ad editing goes and if I'm able to actually snipe the badge image of the water badge. Gym leader thing. Welcome, honored gym challenger. I think you already realize, but I, Nessa, sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan you refine, mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. I bet people don't think of Ness as kind of a calm talker. So, apologies if you guys are slightly ticked about me keeping a calm voice when it comes to Nessa. Let's give this crowd a soul by making our Pokemon flinch. Alright, here. Goal missing. We don't need you to miss your attack right now, Dipper. Unless you plan on doing five attacks next turn, I don't want you to miss your Fury Spark. The move isn't very accurate, I get it. Well, come on, the fur. You got it. There we go. Yeah. You make me proud. You just need to knock out this fish. That's the only thing you need to do. Fine! Fine! You wanna be like that, Lupin? Yep. Go. Return! It's time for Bertle to go ahead and take on the competition. I know the question of the day might be a weak one, just kind of who you want on the team, but it was the only actual thing I could think of. And I want the question of the day to pop up so quickly, so that's kind of why I did so. You might be wondering why I ain't knocking out this fish right away. Well, I kind of want to boost up the attack. And accuracy. And then when I go for power trip, I should go ahead and grab the brew and start sweeping this opponent away. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Seeds Potion. It's near the control. Okay, time to power trip. The agility is really nice. Said Bertle, flipping awesome. He was able to avoid all of their water pulse from Fusion. Uh, I actually had this fish too when I was doing my initial playthrough, but I nicknamed it Kuda, just cause K-U-D-A, Kuda. Wait, 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 I'm it. Let's look at the options. 
know, because Stone Surge is water rock, I think? Or just water but has rock ability. Double kick would raise my attack. But I don't think the defense is really good, was it? Okay, special 28, 33. Oh yeah, going out to side goal would be bad. 33, 34. Yeah, the good defense is multi man, but. Okay, it, it, it looks like we gotta stay in with Girl. Looks like I'm down to my one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Triple attack raid. We should be able to do heavy damage. I just hope it does not go for max rock. Because I don't know if Berta will be able to withstand that. Flood the stadium and make out ocean. Stand max now, Dreadnought. Taking like really huge damage. What I'm doing right now. Come on, own claw strategy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh God, it's not very effective. Wait, next Dogman? It. A crit! A crit! A crit? Are you kidding? I, I was... I was so happy when it seemed that dark. But... I did not... You know what? We gotta find him. We gotta take as much, like, as much of his HP away as possible. It's okay. That's a, that's a physical attack. That's a physical attack. So even though we're losing special attack, it's not. It's not going to be bad. bad. I guess since we're at the opportunity, guys, go ahead and choose. Uh, do you guys want the alone and slow poke back in? Or do you guys want the, uh, let's see, there's the alone and slow poke, and then there is toxic test. Okay, 
Okay. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, let's see. Don't you dare have uh, drive speed. Okay. Hook it out. Thank goodness you're the man, Samson. Thank goodness you're the man. Now we learn Sucker Punch? Now we do? What? You don't know how salty I am right now. You know what? We're, we're getting ready to buy it. We, we don't need that model of Sucker Punch. And Phantom is special attack, not physical. I may probably be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away! How could... how... how could this be? <laughs> now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Can you just see his victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon? You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. You and your Pokemon are indeed serving of this gym badge. You'll want to challenge the fire gym leader next. As you and your Pokemon are now, he'll definitely want to battle you. Yeah, I beat him. I'm so happy to be using Wolf. I think he wasn't using Wolf Paul. Her gym challenge trainers were. I did win, didn't I? Okay, so because I feel like there's going to be a cutscene of a walk outside of this place, I am going to go ahead... Yeah, why the heck are you guys in the Shadow Realm? You both are not in the Shadow Realm, you're in Box 1. However, we gotta put Fertile in the Shadow Realm. Because it lost its battle. Yes, hand over the held item. Did it? No, no, because because cheek pouch, I'm gonna let uh, Data keep an eye on that. Okay, so yeah, um, you guys get to choose if you want to. If you've made it this long, it's been a very long episode. Anyway, if we have Johan. Oh, we have Speeder. You guys get to choose which one of these members will come to your team. And now by that, we'll continue on the adventure. And hopefully, we'll be able to get Multiman here to uh, evolve when we make it to a new city. So, yeah, without further ado, guys, remember to tackle that subscribe button, splash around the likes, and don't forget. Educate a whale sometimes.